Hey y'all, welcome. In this video, I am sharing 10, actually 11 designer bags under a thousand dollars. So let's just jump right into the list. I have different brands. I have Javon Chappell, Bulgari, Bottega Veneta, Jacquemus, YSL, Gucci, etc. So let's continue. First brand I'm going to share with you is Javonchi. And actually I own this one. This is a spoiler alert. I just got it as a part of my birthday haul. And it's the Javonchi Micro Antigona. So if you're watching this, you're going to get a spoiler of one of the things I bought myself for my birthday. Of course, obviously, I got the green, but it comes in other colors as well. If you want neutrals, I think it comes in black, red, pink. Poss I think I know for sure pink, but this gorgeous green color is so cute. It looks like it wouldn't be practical, but y'all know for me, micro bags are practical. And I mean, you can hold essentials in it. It comes with a longer crossbody strap. It's a great price. You don't want to necessarily commit to the bigger size in this because of the style. I don't know. You can go for the micro size. Also, a good thing about this, if you're going to a stadium, if you're going to a game, a concert, this size is appropriate for that. And it doesn't have a zipper, which some people might find an issue with, but it does have magnetic closure. I can definitely do a review on this in the future. If you're interested, just let me know. Great option though. I love this one. Okay, so next bag on this list is from Bulgari and it's the Serpenti Capuchon micro bag. As always, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please ignore. So this barely meets the mark as it is a thousand dollars, even before tax. This one is cute. It has a chain strap rather than a leather strap, contrary to the previous one that I showed you. And as you see, it has a wide opening. It's a fold over flap and gold hardware. It does come in multiple colors. It comes in this light pink color here. The white one or the off white one I just showed you like an ivory. It comes in this gorgeous purple shade, which is beautiful. And then it comes in this gold color as well. So you have different color options for this one. Now it is micro, so micro bags aren't typically usable for most people for the essentials but as you know they are for mine but don't worry i have others on this list that are much more practical than these may be for you and also keep in mind a lot of these brands have gone up in prices so you have to kind of bend a little bit when it comes to designer bags these days because they are pricey the next bag i have is from bottega veneta i have two from them actually and the first is the arco bag of course i just showed green one first but it comes in different colors is 990 before tax all of these prices are before tax by the way and if you're more of a tote bag gal if you want something a little more practical than the micro bags i showed you this would be a great option and it has the intrusiato pattern it has two top handles it has an open top and it has a snap closure as well so not a closure on the actual bag but a closure on the straps so i feel like that one is reasonably priced especially due to the fact that that leather is super high quality and also the size of this bag to be under a thousand dollars is great is this leather though it is that's a great deal for a luxury bag trust me i think i saw this yeah it comes in this kiwi color too there are some tote options but those go over a thousand dollars but for that one i think it's a pretty good deal it's not particularly my style because i typically don't gravitate towards tote bags but it's a great tote bag option for you if you're looking for a designer bag under a green. All right, so this next one is on the list is from Bottega Veneta. It's slightly over a thousand. Slightly. I swear it was under when I looked at it the first time. This one was actually a thousand dollars. It's gone up a hundred dollars since. But this is the Bottega Veneta Candy Padded Tech Cassette or Tech in Cassette Green. Wait, just Tech Cassette. I don't know why I had green on there, but I'm showing you the green one. It comes in three colors though. It's 1100. So it's slightly over a thousand, but still worth showing you and it comes in three colors it comes in this white color it comes in black and of course it comes in that green now this one is more like a puffer style like a puffer jacket is exactly like that actually the strap the bag are both that puffer style so that's what that one looks like i don't think this one any leather no there's nylon and trustiato nylon so if you like the style of the trustiato but you don't want to pay for the leather look into this one even though they kind of don't compare, I'm telling you the leather is great. Even if you can't pay the full price for the leather, I recommend going secondhand because you can often find some great deals on those secondhand because the resale value is unfortunately kind of low. But it's kind of crazy because I feel like their leather is above a bunch of other designer brands. Even like Chanel, I feel like their leather is better. I know some people might come for me on that, but hey, it's true. So for some reason, when I look all of these up, I feel like this is another one that went up after effect. Like I came up with this list probably a couple of weeks ago and the prices have gone up. 
This is another one that's slightly over $1,000, but still worth mentioning. This one is the Jacques Mousse La Bamba Mou bag. I had $874. It must have been sole price, but currently on most other sites it's $1145. But keep in mind, this is Jacques Mousse. You can often use discounts on them, find them on sale, etc. So don't be so stuck on the price because they do go on sale. Anyway, this is another great option. So, this one's $11.45. It does come in different colors like all the other ones I showed you. It comes in green, it comes in black, it comes in brown, it also comes in pink. This one is a lot more practical than the other ones I showed you. It's more of a reasonable size that actually closes, unlike the tote bag I showed you that was reasonable, but it was kind of open. This one closes over, it has leather straps, there's no chain straps, so they're not cheaping out on the materials for this one. And Honestly, I'm not too familiar with Jacquemus leather because all of the bags that I have are like this suede material. Um, so I'm not really sure. Wait, I actually do. I just got two leather bags. Oof, another spoiler from Jacquemus. So those are my first two that I own from them, but I haven't had them long enough to tell y'all whether or not they stand the test of time or not. But I feel like for leather in general, this is still a good price compared to other brands. Also, the size of it, the capacity of it is worth it as well. Next, also from Jacques Mousse, I have the leather Le Bambino Long shoulder bag. I have it at 689 on my notes, but when I pull it up on the website, it's in the 700s. It still falls under $1,000. And again, they all didn't go on sale. I pulled up this purple because I think it's absolutely beautiful. I have Le Bambino Long style but I have them in the suede blue. Take it out so you don't think. I may have showed you this. I have no idea the order I'm gonna post my videos, but this is what it looks like. It's long, but you know, it's still, you can hold a lot in it. You can hold more in it compared to like the standard micro bags I've been showing y'all. But this one only comes with this strap. It doesn't come with the little crossbody strap. So if that bothers you, you wanna skip this one. Let me take a look at this one. This purple is gorgeous. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And it's leather too. Always when you're spending the type of money for leather, it's gonna be a better deal than this. But I have sprayed it with protectant and I haven't had any issues with this as well. But I don't think that one comes, no, it's not showing a longer strap at all. And there's, there would be nowhere to put it either because it only has these little hooks on the side, which are already occupied with the shorter strap. I'm gonna add this one to my wish list. And this violet color is beautiful. Yeah, it does look come with the long strap. So. If you wanted to go with this one, let me show you where it falls on me. I'm like five, eight and a half. That's where it falls on me, right under the bottom. So if you have a problem with that, you might want to skip it. Just, or you might have a slight bit of room. I don't know though. You can take this strap off too and replace it with a longer one. So if you want to do like a chain strap or something and attach it, that wouldn't look bad just because it has gold hardware already. But yeah, next. I have the YSL Popper Small Pouch. This retails for $9.95. Now it's showing that it only comes in black on here, but it comes in multiple colors. I feel like this is another great deal because it comes with a card holder, which is great. You don't have to pay for a separate card holder. Also with this one, maybe concern, it's just a pouch that doesn't have a strap. I can easily add a strap to it. I've seen you know, a couple of YouTubers do that actually. I think Mel and Melbourne have done this. So you can check out her channel if you want to see how she did that. But I think it's a great deal. It's a small envelope, but it is lambskin. It's still leather. So I feel like it's, it's still a great deal. I don't know. Now with adding a strap on this, there aren't any holes or anything. So it's kind of an idea where you have to put it underneath the flap and remember that you have the strap there because otherwise the bag will fall straight on the ground. You don't have anything actually to attach it to. So for a clutch style, I feel like this is a great idea. Also, I want to show y'all this other option. This one is $8.95. I don't think this one is leather. It looks like more of a tweed type of material. So it's like canvas and calf leather. And that one comes in two colors. So like that lemon pie color and then this basil color. So you have different color options. Let's see. And then there's these others. If you want a brighter color, there's this one too, this bright green color. Or if you want it in the denim style. So you have different options for this one. So. If you have a lower budget, you may want to take a look at this one, but just keep in mind there is no strap. Oh, here we go again. This price increased. I feel like everybody increased their prices recently. Another example, Gucci. This one was $9.50 at first. Now it's $10.50 or nine something. This one is now $10.50. This is the Gucci Ophidia Gigi Supreme Canvas Mini Bag. 
Now, this is necessarily, isn't necessarily one I would get. I'm very picky about Gucci bags. I just feel like most of them don't work for me in my style, but I just wanted to share with you anyway because I feel like the Gucci Ophidia is pretty popular in general, that, con that whole collection of bags. And it's cute for those who vibe with it. It has basically one open and it has a buckle strap or whatever at the top is short it doesn't have a longer strap so it's another one of those that only have one short strap you can't wear it crossbody or anything like that but it has the gg on the side it has the stripes and it falls right underneath the armpit so you could also wear it in a crook of your arm top handle so you have a few ways to wear it but you just can't wear it crossbody or anything like that so there's that one also as you can see it has an interior card holder slot so it's not like one of those bags where you have to take up room with the separate car holder. You can put your cars right in there and save room for other stuff, as you can see. So for some reason, this one did not change prices. This one is also from Gucci. And this is the beige super mini Gigi Supreme Dionysus bag. Dionysus Dionysus. I think it's Dionysus. Anyway, I think I saw someone. I think I saw Maggie x2 promote or not promote it but like unbox it and i was like oh i typically have never gravitated towards the dionysus but the mini in my opinion is very cute and it's a great way to get into it if you don't if you have never gravitated towards it it's been out a long time it's not necessarily trending but it's still an option now this one has a chain strap as well it looks like it can hold quite a bit not a whole lot but Compared to some of the other mini bags I showed you, it looks pretty roomy. It's adorable. And it looks like she has her phone in there. Or he. Don't want to show him gender. Huff. Gosh. Anyway. Oh my god, that's horrible. Forgive me. That was not funny at all. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. Because I'm making it worse. It holds a phone. Because as you can see from... This screen recording is holding a phone and it has looks like a lipstick or something. So maybe it doesn't hold as much as I thought. It's kind of structured. So you kind of have to pick and choose. Do you want to hold your phone? Do you want to hold card holder, other stuff, you know? But it does hold a phone if you need to do that. And I don't think it has a built in, no, it doesn't have a built in card holder compared to some of the other bags. So that's something you have to put separately inside the bag so consider that as well next is from chloe or c by chloe honestly i feel like it's kind of the same thing it's just like their sister brand or something kind of like well and it's kind of different from versace and versace jeans anyway this is from c by chloe and this is the joan small crossbody bag if you don't want to spend money on chloe even though chloe i feel like is more reasonable compared to other brands there is the c by chloe line that is cheaper maybe half the price one third of price as you can see but this is the Joan small crossbody bag it comes in three colors on here it comes in this beige color it comes in this black color which is on sale for 364 hello and then it also comes in this light blue color so this one has two straps i feel like it's gorgeous i just i don't know chloe i try i tried chloe before as you know i've had at one point i owned three chloe bags and now i'm zero so that tells you a lot right there not necessarily a brand that I feel like is my style. I feel like it's more of a classier bag style. I'm not saying I'm not classic. It's just more elevated than I typically dress, if that makes sense. But if you like the style of bag, you might want to take a look at them. Even though they're not super popular, I find that their bag and their leather is top notch. It's just my opinion. Last one I have to share with you is from Attico and this is the Attico crossbody retails for 950 before tax and this one comes in different colors as well i'm showing you the turquoise blue which is absolutely gorgeous it is a top handle and is really structured so if you don't like super structured bags you might want to stay within this and it does come in black as well i think metallic green i'm going to show you the other colors it comes with but it doesn't it says crossbody so it has to come with a longer strap okay so this is also the crossbody bag in blue i'm not sure why they would show this bag available if, I mean, show it as a crossbody if they're not showing it on the model as a crossbody. That makes no sense. Some people would assume it's not a crossbody, even though it's in the name of the bag. Okay, so yeah, it comes with a crossbody. And as you see, it comes in different colors. It comes in black. It comes in that turquoise blue. It comes in this gorgeous metallic green color, which reminds me of my mini Jody, if you can see it there. It comes in this green color. 
So you've had different color options. I haven't particularly looked at the added comfort bags, but I've been looking for these videos and I might just take a look at them in person because I feel like they would possibly compare to Jacquemus in quality and because their shoes are great. So I'm gonna have to take a look at their bags too to see what's up. So that is it for my top 11 list under, I'm gonna just say $1,100. So some of my prices went up right before I got done filming and posting this video. So let me know if there are any others you think I should have included on the list. If you own any of these, let me know. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.